So it's 9.27 on a Saturday, which means I have my shop update in around 30 minutes and man, I am still nervous about this stuff. Every single shop update, like an hour or 30 minutes before everything launches, I get the nerves. I really don't know why because I've been through this so many times, but I still worry about things not selling. I still worry about people getting bored of my work, even though I know it's not true. Um, but yeah, the nerves will always be there and that's just part of owning your own shop. So this is what happens at every shop update. Um, just before everything launches, I always do a post on story, just telling people what to do if they want to combine shipment or like just giving them a friendly reminder that everything is dropping in like 10 to 5 minutes. So yeah, this is the kind of stuff I have to do as a seller. It's not really just sitting there and waiting for everything to drop. I kind of also sit here in the last 30 minutes just to make sure that everything is prepared, everything is done properly. Now that I start talking about this, I think also part of the nerves come from the fact that I know a lot of you are on the opposite side of the world, getting up in the middle of the night to do the shop and also like just stopping whatever you're doing just to shop from me and that makes me even more nervous because I really want this to be perfect. I don't want to disappoint. I want to make sure everyone gets something they really love. Okay. Okay, time's up. So I'm going to refresh my website just to make sure everything goes up. Usually it takes an extra 10 to 15 seconds for everything to upload. So I just keep refreshing until I see all the new stuff. Wait, there we go. So everything is up and now I'm just going to post this. And yay, everything is live and all my announcements have been posted and I'm sure people are trying to order things now. So just go, oh, first order has come in. Oh my goodness, you guys are so fast. It's, it's 10.01 and I really don't know how you guys do it. Okay, so it's five minutes in and most earrings have sold out. Thank you so much, guys. Like, oh, I cannot ask for better supporters um I have no words I really have no words like why would you guys stop everything you're doing to buy from me like it it still amazes me thank you so much um and I'm just refreshing the page now just to see what's left so that I can move the available listings up top so it's easy for people to spot what's still available um, yeah, so this is pretty much what I do every single shop of day. It gets very nervous, then very exciting, then it's just two days of hard work packing non-stop and shipping everything out on Monday. So I'm doing some collab work with Cricut, this machine here, this company, and I am doing a tutorial video for the YouTube channel. So just doing that right now. I've been editing this video all night long. Um, it's finally completed, but I just need to do the voiceover for the tutorial now. And this is the script. It is very long. So I have to record me saying all of this line by line and hopefully everything matches with what I've filmed. Um, it's always a challenge doing the voiceover after filming because then the footage and what I say can sometimes mismatch um so yeah it's a complicated process but um but i have to do it <laughs> have you have your cricket maker set up and ready <coughs> have your cricket matey <laughs> what today i'm going to teach you how to achieve the glaze resist effect with the cricket maker oh that really hurt now let's get started on this project have your cricket maker ready Red oak. Oh my god. Glaze resist technique also works on other surfaces such as wood and air dry clay. So please don't worry if you have bisqueware to work with. What? It's done guys. I did it. I did it. I finished the video and within the day as well. I'm so happy right now. This has dragged on for long enough. Like I've just been procrastinating. So this is a huge achievement. I'm so happy. And you should be able to see this video on Cricut's um, YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description box so you can check it out as well. It's a very fun video about how I created and glazed um, this vase. I really need new thank you cards. These are thank you cards I use for my shop. Every time people place an order, I pop in a random one. Um, and I have, I think, five different styles. So since I'm ordering more anyway, I thought I might as well do some new styles. That way it's like, you know, more fun for me and also more fun for people who buy from me. So...
cute little unboxing to show you today so these are Tamagotchi charms that I ordered online so I found these on eBay and um, this person had the whole set so it's a set of um, Tamagotchi gachapons um, or gachapon however you want to call it and this person had the whole set and I was like I have to get this and since you guys seemed very interested in my previous Tamagotchi collection video I thought I might show you this as well and here we go so there's six of them. Okay, I'm just gonna open it. Oh my goodness, they are actually so much bigger than I thought they would be. Okay, so it came with all the, you know, these little sheets that come with gachapons. Um, and this is the entire set. Let me just open them up to have a look at it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi! <laughs> okay, let's look at my Mechi. Oh, how adorable! Okay, I think her arm is supposed to move, but how? How? Oh, so he pressed this little knob here. And she's like whisking whatever she is cooking. Oh my god. What's next? I think her name is Violetchi. Violetchi. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Okay, so this has a little string as well. And hang on. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! I was not expecting this. <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> and also very annoying. I can imagine doing this like next to my friends non-stop and they just feel like, please get lost. Next one, let's do Mimichi. Okay, so Mimichi has a lot of money. Aww. Adorable. Okay, let's do Kuchipachi next, my absolute favorite Tamagotchi character. Oh my god. Oh my god, his mouth opens. <laughs> oh my god. I really was not expecting this. I love this so much. What the heck? <laughs> Look at it. Oh my god, I love this so much. Last one, we have Mamechi. The iconic Mamechi. So he's got this little pet dog with him and what is this okay so that goes on his head oh okay so i think this is a magnet and all right oh my god oh my god these are so creative oh my god i love these so much i'm gonna put one on my tamagotchi right now i'm running this pastel meats right now and oh sorry perfect example of being a bad caretaker they're actually a bit too big for this might be a bit clumsy. All right, anyway, I'll figure it out. I'm so happy with these. I hope you like them as well. Aren't they just so adorable? All right, so before I end this video, I just wanted to do a quick Animal Crossing Island tour. Um, the last time I did this was last year, so it was ages ago and a lot has happened since. So just wanted to show you what new things I have on my island. All right, let's take a look at my island. So down here, I have my pumpkin patch and I really like this area at night because everything lights up and on the left here, oh, it's my absolute favorite part of my island recently because it's my Sanrio Cafe. Um, I got all these items with my Amiibo cards. They are so adorable. Like, oh my God, look at the desserts. 
and look at these tables like why is this not real life seriously why is this not real life moving on on the left here is my stargazing area at night when there are shooting stars and you look up from the spot oh it's absolutely amazing and up ahead here i have all my instruments set up they don't really do anything, they just look really pretty. Anyway, I'm very proud of this area and don't think I'll ever start terraforming again because it can be a nightmare. And down here, I have my two villages. Actually, I should show you guys who I have on my island first. So I've got Audi, who came to me on my campsite, was very happy about that. I have Zaka, Lily, Maple, Puddles, Marina, Fauna, Walker, my absolute favorite. He looks so derpy. I love him. And Tia. I think I am one villager short, so I do have to go villager hunting. But I am very traumatized by that because I have been trying to get um, Judy on my island. And she is a shy little bear because she does not appear at all. I've not seen her in the game one one single time. I think the craziest thing I've done in this game to try find Judy was to spend 100 Nukbao tickets on hunting for her but failed miserably. Anyway, moving on, on the right hand side here is kind of like a more urban city themed area so to speak. Here are my vending machines, you can sit here and look at a bit of brick wall. Just oh my rainbow flower patch, please appreciate. Um, and on the left here, I've got my gift area where you can take free stuff if you come visit my island. I sometimes do open up my island, guys. Like, pay attention to my story if you want to visit. Oh, this is Mr. Cramps. I just made that up. He doesn't have a name. He's just, he, he's just really cool, okay? I put him here because he's very cool. Moving on, this is my amusement park area. Oh, look at this peacock. So shiny. That's why I really like coming onto my island at night because everything lights up. The whole island just looks very, very beautiful. And I've got my spa area here, outdoor spa, fancy. And at the back here is my little photo shoot garden area where you can sit here, or where you can sit here and just chill out and take really cute pictures. I really like this little bridge here. It's got all these like frogs on it if you can see. I really like it. They're from the Sanrio Amiibo cards um, and so are these lanterns. They've got Kiropi on it. Oh my absolute favorite. Just so good. On the right here is my fairy garden area. This part is still work in progress so I feel like there's still so much negative space I could fill up with like more fairy garden stuff items um, and but I'm very happy with how it looks right now actually this took me quite a while to assemble so i've got this empty plot of land here that i need to fill up with hopefully judy i actually have seven nook mile tickets on me now and maybe i should go villager hunting if i do get judy and i catch this on camera i'll be very happy okay i know in the intro i said that my island has changed a lot and it's now beautiful and very interesting but really that's all there is but this did take me over 300 hours so uh, thank you for appreciating it if you are appreciating it okay here we go we have seven chances guys because i'm completely out of nook miles i have only seven chances so hopefully this works um okay i really hope it's judy and if it's not judy please give me someone cute and not creepy like the gorillas in this game here we go oh i don't know why i'm even nervous like this is so stupid i'm getting so nervous over a game oh no i see a very bad shadow oh no oh no 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 oh my god oh my god i have no words it's a no for me go leave all right guys six more chances i'm ready for anything but that cow uh, okay who will it be oh it's a horse he's kind of like a prince oh his name is colton i think i'll pass guys not my favorite also i have five more tickets left i i think i should remain hopeful that i will find someone cuter than colton third try i would really like to have judy I need to stop saying that. I'm gonna jinx it. Who is it? Who is it? Oh, I think I need to climb up. Oh my god, it's a frog. It's a frog! 
oh my god, guys. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? I really like all the frogs, but I also want Judy. What do I do? What's his name? I need to talk to him. His name is Drift. Oh my god. See, this is like the best and worst thing about this game. You only get so many houses that you can have on your island, but then over 400 animals you can choose from. Like, how does that ratio even work? I think I'm gonna pass. Oh my god, am I really leaving? I think I'm gonna regret this. Okay, I only have four tickets left. Who is it going to be? Oh my god, no way. I already have two octopuses on my island though. What do I do? <laughs> Why am I getting all these amazing characters? This is Octavian, I know who he is. I don't even have to talk to him. His house is amazing. His house is space themed. This is so hard. See, now that my luck has been good two times in a row, I feel like the next one will be Judy. Oh, don't be silly, Claudia. Okay, I'm gonna cry again. Cry. <laughs> Do I want three octopuses on my island? I feel like I don't want three octopuses on my island even though I think Octavian is adorable. Okay, for that reason, I will leave. Okay, so we're on a bamboo island this time. Ooh, is that a mouse? It is, it is a mouse. Oh my God, I know who this is. I think her name is Dora. This one, I can confidently say I will leave behind. I think Dora is very adorable, but I'm just not really into the mouse characters. How many tickets do we have left? We've got two tickets left. Okay, just going on the second last island and I was just thinking who else I would want and I actually really like Huck, the frog, and I also really like Prince, who is another frog, so hopefully it's one of those characters. Oh, I'm so scared. Who will it be? Oh my god, eagles are my worst nightmare. I'm so sorry if you like the eagles. I find them very, very, very creepy. I'm not even going to talk to him. <laughs> he looks so creepy. No, I'm leaving. I do have friends that really, really like the eagles, but why? Just why? They look so creepy. Look at it. Last ticket, guys. This is it. This is where I find my dream villager. If this doesn't work out, I'm just going to use one of my Sanrio amiibo cards and get one of the Sanrio characters or like the Sanrio collab characters to live on my village because at least they don't look demonic or like extremely scary. Let's see who's on this island. Oh, it's a wolf. Oh, it's Freya. I already have a wolf I really like on my island though, which is Audi. So I think I'm gonna pass. I guess it's no duty for now. So yeah, thanks for watching my video. Please um, like my video and give me good juju so that I get Judy again. Oh my God, no pun intended. I didn't manage to get Judy and I was gonna get a camper to live on my island. Um, whoever I have on my Amiibo cards. I logged in today and guess who came onto my island and decided to stay here? Oh my god, she's so cute. Her name is Bea. Bay? Bea? Is it Bay or Bea? Anyway, she is adorable. Is she not adorable? She is so cute. I'm so happy. She has freckles. Oh my god. I really want to see what her house looks like, but... I can't get in right now because she's outside. All right, guys, I'll end this video for real this time. And thanks so much for watching. I hope you like my video and I'll catch up with you again soon.